This is Mooney Real here, and I am breathing heavy. I am breathing heavy, and there is a reason why I'm breathing heavy. Because I'm doing something that's a little crazy. All right, hear me out. So the Super Bowl sales are going on, right? On TVs right now, right? It's Super Bowl time, and people are... Or sales. Well, there's a TV I've been eyeballing, and it's the LG C1 OLED. Seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred dollars off. It was going. It's a it's a twenty five hundred dollar TV, and it was it, it's selling for eighteen hundred. I just could not pass on that deal, so I went to my local Best Buy. And guess what, folks? Guess what, folks? Well, let me show you. Let me show you. See that? See that? Yeah, I uh, I went ahead and I bought that motherfucker. I bought it and uh, I'm sweating like a pig. I can't believe I just did this. Okay, so. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna unbox this, guys. I'm gonna box this and I'm gonna see how it fits because look, I am in a small room here. I am in a small room. Look at the size of my room. Look at the size. Do you think my room's too small? We're about to find out. Now, typically they recommend two people do this, but I'm only one person, so I'm gonna give it my best. Flathead screws, something with a, oh, including an instruction manual, which is probably my fault, but there's a tear. Should I return it? Should I return the TV guys? There's a tear on the, on the uh, instruction manual. I hope that's the only tear. Let's uh, continue. Uh, what we have here, we have a wall mounting bracket. Uh, nothing of interest right now. Turning on the TV. Okay, magic remote. Oh yeah, this remote, it's called the magic remote. <laughs> I love that. Uh, uh, anyway, let's see. Okay. I just got my first look at the TV. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take this unboxing, guys. I'm going to be dead honest. That TV... It's paper thin, man. It's paper thin. Now I've watched other unboxings of this TV uh, to help with a little guidance. I wanted to see how it was done. And one of the things to keep in mind, if you get a TV like this, is it's that simple. Uh, once you remove the straps and, and the top layer, you can just lift the box right up. Simple, 
good packaging. Good packaging. LG, looks like you took a key from, uh, you know, Apple. They're known for their great packaging, and I have to say you did it this time. And here it is, folks. The TV itself. We have something on the back here. The, it's called the Dark Steel Silver. This must be, yes it is, this is the front of the stand. Oh my gosh, guys, I just had a realization. Not only is this the front of the stand, but I do believe that this stand is the stand. This right here. Are you fucking kidding me? This, this, this thing here is the stand for the TV. The TV is all screen, guys. It's all screen. It's just screen. It's, it's... I'm nervous about this. I have this old uh, entertainment, uh, I guess you could say center, that I used for my OTV. My OTV was, it was a very nice TV, but it was, it was oh, it's outdated now, like to, like a little 42 inch, uh, you know, uh, Samsung. Uh, full HD TV, 1080p. But you know, you gotta have the 4K nowadays. You know, you got the 4K, you got the HDR, high dynamic range, and then you have the OLED, OLED, to get those perfect blacks. I mean, how can you turn away from what they have today? Because if you're working with a TV that's just HD, 1080p, you're not getting the full effect. If you, you want the full effect, when you watch movies, I'm a big movie buff, you know, I love watching movies. And, and this can play games too. This can play AAA titles. If I were to, I don't have it right now, but if I were to get a PS5 or a, or a Xbox One or whatever, I'd be able to play this. I'd be able to play the the top AAA titles. That's that was the selling factor for me. You know, and I was like, man, should I get this? Should I get this? I'm going back and forth. It's not easy dishing out two grand on a television after tax. But when they're you're still saving seven hundred bucks, it makes you think a little bit. Should I dip a little into my savings and, and dish over for this thing? And oh man, I just couldn't resist it. I just couldn't resist. Man, you can see I'm sweating. I'm excited and nervous at the same time, and just there's like this anxiety here and. Uh, Oh, I wanted to say, I was curious about whether or not this would fit on, anyway, like I was saying, I had that 42 inch TV and I was sitting it on my uh, little entertainment center and uh, I was curious if this would fit on it and uh, <laughs> being this is the base, let me check it out. Oh, it just fits, guys. It like just fits. I should have known better. This is also part of the stand. This is the back of the stand. And it's heavy, man. It is heavy. It's got some real girth to it. And let's take this bad boy out here. All right, here we go, guys. This is the stand that the TV, I imagine, will prop onto. Right here. Okay, I gotta figure out how this works because you have the front of the stand and then you have the stand itself and then you have some kind of contraction here. I should probably refer to the manual about this. I think I'm supposed to maybe Turn this upside down. Oh. One here. That's it. 
one here. And I'm going to need to get a little flathead screwdriver for this one here. So let me go ahead and just get it started. Let's, let's go get a screwdriver. It's not a flathead I need. It's a Phillips. There we go. <laughs> like rain. So it looks like we got the stand all in place. Now, the TV. Oh, this is not an unmitigated disaster, folks. Before I put the TV on its stand, I'm thinking. Oh, that's where the wires go. Okay, I was wondering what this part was. That's for the wires. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Before I start this installation, the TV to stand, to stand to, to, uh, to other stands so that I can actually finally start watching content. Let's take a brief, brief moment of reflection, brief moment of contemplation, brief moment of serenity. Take a cup of drink, a cup of Joe, some coffee. I need some coffee. Um, this is kind of a big deal, guys. I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of a big deal for me. I haven't had a TV in a long time. I've been watching streaming content via Netflix and you know all the different services which we have on this TV here. They got built in. They have Netflix, uh, Amazon Prime, Sling, uh, your typical LG channels. You got Voodoo, Hulu, Apple TV. Uh, Disney Plus, all on the TV. I was watching all that, you know. I was watching all that on my on my iPad with a sad, measly 12.9 inch screen. And of course, got the mini LED HDR. It looks good, but it's not. It can't beat a TV, guys. It just can't beat a TV. It can't beat the LG OLED 65 inch C1. So I've been thinking about this TV for a long time, ever since it came out back in 2021, this TV arrived to our doors. And some people, they were the first initiators. And I wasn't one of those, but it kept coming across it and it kept coming into my mind and I finally caved, the guys, I finally caved. Next step. Is going to require some more screws. My arch nemesis screws and freaking screwdrivers it's going to require some of those we need we need four four of those i don't know if these are the ones or if it's in the box somewhere else in the box but we'll see so it looks like the tv itself it comes out and then 
props to here. Come on. Probably about an idiot trying to do this myself, I'll be honest. Uh, yeah. My heart can't take it. Now, now, how does this go in there? Well, there she blows, folks. The LG 65-inch C1 is fully installed. I'm unworthy. I am unworthy. <laughs> oh. Don't forget the film on the back either. Got it. It just took a little fingernail. Get it. Shocked me. The thing shocked me, man. I like to feel the kinetic energy radiating off of it. Back, marvelous.
Now for the magic remote. Let's turn this bad boy on. I really don't know what to say. The TV is up. It's on its stand. It feels like it's secure. I think this is, I think it's it. I think this is it, guys. This is all she wrote, guys. This is it. The TV is on my TV stand. In my room, 64 five inches. Does it look too big? For this room, it is too big, but if you are living in a circumstance where, you know, I ran this entire thought process to my head, through my head, and really, I'm a little ashamed to admit it, but it's the truth, it's the God owner's truth. I make money, but I, you know those people that say, you live in your mom's basement? Be it to say, guys, this is my only space. This is my only living quarters. So I really thought hard and long. I don't think a bedroom needs a TV. It shouldn't have a TV. A bedroom is for a bed, guys. That's what a bedroom's for. The bed is supposed to take in all the energy of the room. When you install something like this into a room, it's no longer a bedroom as far as I'm concerned. It's now a TV room. This space here once was a bedroom to me, but it now exists as a TV room. This TV is going to suck out all the energy of the room. Everything in the room which used to be dedicated to the bed and sleep, is now dedicated to this TV in late nights of insomnia and restlessness. But is it worth it? Hell yeah, it's worth it. So I got to spend some time time with my new TV, the C1, and um, here it is. My question was, is it too big for my room? 65 inch, is it 65 inch too big for a bedroom? The answer, I can happily say, absolutely not. This TV is great. For me, it's not too big. And the reason it's not too big is because of the picture quality. Right now I have it in gallery mode, which is makes the picture look kind of like a, a you know, a picture frame. It displays artwork. Um, but let me, let me show you a few things. If I go to, uh, with the Magic Remote, if I go to menu, uh, main menu, you have all your apps here. You can use the uh, Magic Remote to uh, move around with the cursor. And if I go to uh, YouTube, I've been playing some uh, 8K content. Uh, you really get the, the sense of how good the display is from these YouTube videos here. Like this one, for example looks really good I don't know if you can tell on your screen but the picture quality here is just superb let me turn off the lights
okay? And in a really dark room, check this out. In a really dark room, you can get those perfect blacks and perfect contrast. And that's why the 65 inch is not big, too big for my bedroom is because the picture quality is so good on this TV that it doesn't matter how close you are to the TV. You're still getting that crystal clear clarity that you long for when investing in a TV of this caliber. So yeah, those are my final impressions on the TV. I am very satisfied with the picture. I'm very satisfied with the quality. I've spent a few couple hours on with it and I am just <laughs> enthralled with how much uh, I really love this TV.